There's nothing worse than employment discrimination. A person should always be judged on the ability to do the job they've applied for. Nothing else. Sex, race, disability. These issues should never, ever be a consideration. Which is why during the interview process for our new finance director, I did my very best to make sure I viewed everybody on an equal and fair playing field. So when Dobbin came in, I viewed him in the same way I would any other potential employee. I mean, yes, he was a pantomime horse, that was obvious, but he arrived early for the interview and presented an impressive CV. He wore a sign around his neck saying, one clip-clop for yes, two clip-clops for no. And I have to be honest and say I was quite taken aback by those big old comedy eyes with the fluttery lashes. The following interview went incredibly well, and I was very impressed by the clip-clops he gave, and so, obviously, I offered him the job on the spot. Which is why I was so disappointed and disheartened when he was fired five months later for embezzling company funds. I just couldn't understand what had happened. How could I have gotten somebody so wrong? I'll tell you this, though. I'm never going to make that mistake again. Bloody pantomime horses. Nothing but trouble. The Cornucopia Radio Show Podcast. Proving there's more to the internet than just pornography, skateboarding dogs and Nigerian businessmen.